What's up, YouTube? Back with another selfie stick video. I got two back-to-back -back selfie stick videos for you. No, I'm just playing. But uh, I got another video. I, what I wanted to talk about, and I thought about it, um, and I, I I never got around to it because I kept forgetting to, to talk about it. But my last video that I talked about jogged my memory to talk about this. And what I want to talk about is... Um, Sports gamers and why they buy the same game every year. Essentially, it's what it appears like for the most part. And uh, rightfully, you should think, essentially, it is the same game every year. But to a sim head sports nut, it's not the same game every year, right? Uh, if you don't know who I am, I mean, not know who I am. If you don't know me, which most likely... You know, majority of you guys, the new people who 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 don't follow my channel or anything, uh, don't know. I, I'm a I'm a big sports nut. I'm a big Browns fan. I'm a big Cleveland Browns fan, Indians fan, and Cleveland Cavaliers fan, and uh, Ohio State Buckeyes fan. I I'm just I mean, look at my background. Shit, look look at this shit. I mean, I'm I'm a I'm a sports nut. So every year I buy the latest sports games. Every year, every year around the clock. I'm buying it. I'm buying it. I'm 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 right there, first nigga in line buying these games, bro. But I, like I said, I love sports and I love the sports games. But the reason why me in particular and most people like me who who's sports nuts who buy these games, um, buy this shit every year is because um you get updated rosters. That's first and foremost. Now, um, uh, what let me. Let me finish saying what I'm saying. You get updated rosters. You get um. You get new game modes, even though they take away game modes and put them back. It's new. You know what I'm saying? And it's almost like a um. It's almost like an excitement yearly tradition type of thing, just because you're a sports nut. It's just the same as when you're excited for football season. Like football season is over, but right now the NFL draft is coming up, so we're excited about that. And then you know the NBA playoffs is. Coming up, excited about that. We're excited about March Madness. We're excited when these yearly events happen. We get excited about it. Baseball season about to start up. We're excited about that shit. And as kids, it's more like what the, the, the same type of feeling we got last year. We get it this year. It's the same kind of feeling you get with sports games as well. It's it's really it's really hard to explain because I get I think you have to be a sports nut to uh to to understand like where I'm coming from and if you don't if you don't um if you're not a sports nut or anything like that you probably looking like still like what the fuck and I like I said I don't blame you I'm just trying to do the best I can to explain to you because really from the outside looking in. And if, if and people that's not a sports nut be looking like, man, why the fuck do you buy this shit every year? Like it's the same game. You get looking at the same field. But it's the subtleties, bro. It's the feelings uh of having that new um game. Because to be honest with you, to be honest with you, the gameplay feels different. It feels new. Things is tweaked. There's new game modes. There's there's even new uh men menu menu music which weirdly plays a a, a a a role it plays a role it's something about having that new thing i guess honestly it's just it's that's that's the uh that's the best way for me to explain that it's just it's just new you know what i mean now do i think it's a money grubbing cash grab did they come out with these sports games every year hell yeah hell yeah at the end of the day, it's a money grubbing cash grab, and it immediately devalues, you know, midway through the season, the 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 uh the uh, sports season, because you know these games, these sports games release right in the beginning of uh sports season. Because I'm mean, like I said, we fired up for fo football, we fired up for basketball, we fired up for the season, we fired up. So, you know, we, we want the, uh, we, we ready to go to the games. We ready to go get the apparel. We ready to, you know what I mean? Especially if you got that team, you, you, you lucky enough to have a team that got high expectations. You know what I mean? For instance, the Cleveland Browns had pretty high expectations. You know how that ended up, but the, uh, the expectations was high. And then you turn around and, 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 and uh, you excited. And so you run out, you go by, you go by the new Madden because you want to play with your Cleveland Browns. You want to whoop ass 
with your Cleveland Browns. You know? And I'm just saying, that's just uh that's just the truth of things. And so you you excited. Same like MLB the show comes out uh actually this Friday. Um I, I officially, unofficially for this Friday. Me, the sports nut that I am, my dumbass is gonna get to, <laughs> is gonna get the $79 version <laughs> just so I can <laughs> basically so I can play two days early. <laughs> Is it stupid? Hell yeah, it's stupid. It's stupid. And I shouldn't encourage such practice. I shouldn't. But God damn it, I'm a sports nut. It's just what it is. It is. I'm excited. I want to get my hands on a new MLB to show. I do. I'm just keeping it 100. I am. And these companies know that. They feed off that, man. That's why they hit you. That's why they do you like that, man. You know, that's why you get the you get the game and you know you and it's a, it's it's really bad. It's a bad it's bad. And I can't even excuse that. I'm I should be ashamed of myself for doing that. I should be. And you know, I don't know. I don't know. There's no excuse for it, so I can't give you one. But anyways, I'm excited. I'm excited. I've been watching the videos because you know they gotta promote the game all the way up until the point of release. They got to promo it and get you all excited and fired up. They get you, you know, and that, this is another thing that these sports games do, particularly MLB The Show and NBA 2K. What they do is they'll come out with this, uh, I want to, I want to call it not a montage, but, a um, like a momentous trailer is what they come out with. And so it just kind of show you the new game and they play the music and they show the graphics and the music gets you fired up and it's like, hell yeah, let's do this. I'm telling you, this is, <laughs> that's what sport, man, sports nuts is fucking crazy, bro. We are, we nuts, man. We're nuts. And, and like I said, that's just the truth of things, man. And so we get excited and, and, and we see the momentous trailer and it's like, holy shit, I can't wait, bro. I, I, I remember in particular when ML, I mean, when NBA 2K 14 was, uh, was announcing and all of that and promo for the PS4 and Xbox one. And we saw the new generation and it. And then in the beginning, of it, it said, uh, shown actually on a PS4 system or something like that. And when you saw the game with the graphics and, the, uh, and the music, it is, Oh man, it's a feeling you can't describe as a fan. You can't describe that. You just can't. And it's like, ah, I need that game. <laughs> it's fucking nuts, man. But hey, look, man. We all got our we all got our niches. We all got our, you know, our our just our things, man. Our quirks, our whatever thing about us that entices us, man. So shit, what you can't you can't really knock me, because I'm sure there's some things about you. You know. Again. I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm running off course, but that's just the truth of things, man. That's, I just want to get you a better understanding of a, the mindset of a gamer who, uh, especially sports gamers, we just say sports gamers, sports gamers that, um, that buy these games every year. And one thing about me that that's different, um, besides the other sports gamers is that I game, I game on, um, I play all kinds of games. Most sports gamers with well, most sports gamers I know. They only play the sports games. They only play the MLB, 2K, and Madden's every year. You know, you get and FIFA's. They play FIFA. I play FIFA, but I don't play it as much as the other ones because the community is small. Same with uh, MLB. The, the the community is pretty small, so it's tough to play. And I I like to particularly play with friends more than anything. So if you, anyone of y'all want that work, man, holler at me. Rome go large. PSN. Anyways, you know that's my shameless plug to play some video games. What you got with you guys, but the, uh, like I was saying, um, I play all kinds of games. I play sports games and I play RPG, um, action, racing. Uh, I play just about everything puzzle. Um, I play, I play them all. There's some that I don't, I, I don't really care for, particularly for turn based. I don't care for turn based, um, games, but. Uh, everything else, uh, shoot, uh, first person shooters. I play those, all that. I love those, but um, um, but that. So I'm I'm kind of cut different when it comes to this game and stuff. But most, like I said, most sports gamers they primarily playing uh 
sports games every year. They'll buy the console just to play the sports games and won't play anything else. I had one cat come at me that I played normally. He was like, he saw me playing other games. He was like, what? You play other games? Whoa. And it was like, he was astonished and shit. Like, whoa, you play other games? And I'm like, yeah, hell yeah. I play all, I play the games. I got them. I play the shit out of them. That's what I do. But yeah, I kind of veered off the topic a little bit again because I, I I rambles and I'm not trying to. But like I said, my um, I just wanted to you know kind of give y'all a better understanding on why we buy these sports games every year. And the reason why we buy them every year is because we're sports nuts. We're excited for sports. We 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 want get we want to get the new rosters. And and that's the case. And that's that. We want to get the new gameplay, the new music, the new graphics. Because there is graphical tweaks that you don't see. You do see graphical tweaks and changes and and all kinds of different shit. And it's, it's a great feeling, really. But like I said, we we uh there they shouldn't go to this year to year shit. And I'm what I think is what they should do is just hit you with a subscription. You know, maybe $30 a year, some shit like that. And what they'll do is just update the game. They can simply, simply just update the game, update the, um, they, they probably can't do anything with the graphics, of course, but they can definitely, you know, up, uh, update the fields, update the, um, the courts. Um, they can update the rosters, of course. Um, they, they even going as far as updating commentary. So, they can simply just update the game and or, you know, every two years, you know, spend a hundred dollars or something. And that's consumer friendly, of course, a hundred dollars. And you get the game for two years and you can play on it for two years or whatever. Some kind of different kind of thing instead of buying it every year. But, you know, greedy companies, they they want the they want to, you know, smack you every year with the with the yearly releases and. You know, and you paying premium for, for that kind of weird shit. And that's just what it is, man. You know, from one sports gamer to the to the rest of the gamer world, sports gamer slash regular gamer to the rest of the gamers of the world. That is the reason why sports gamers buy sports games every year. I hope y'all liked the video. I hope that I explained it uh, good enough for y'all to understand it, because I know I can ramble and I can bounce around and be all over the place with the shit. But I, I, I really, uh, I hope y'all understand, and I hope that I, I enlightened somebody on the reason why we buy these sports games every year. Cause I'm fired up, man. I'm fired the fuck up for uh, MLB the show. I'm excited, and like I said, I'm down to whoop ass. Cause that's what I do with these sports games. I like, I look for, I look for victims, and I whoop ass in these sports games. From MLB, Madden. Not so much 2K because the online servers is fucking trash. So I don't play that shit online. I just don't. I enjoy it by myself when I have buddies over and we chilling, you know, doing our thing and playing and playing the 2K in real life. And, you know, not online because, like I said, the, the 2K service is goddamn fucking trash. And, uh, and, uh, the, uh, you know, UFC, I play that shit too. I play the shit out of it. FIFA. But my, 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 my bread and butter is the uh, MLB and Madden. Those are my bread and butters. I will beat your ass in that. And I'm just, and that's just real talk. I will whoop your ass in some fucking Madden, man. I will whoop your ass. I don't give a fuck if it's a, if it's a, a sim, a non-sim, a fucking toy game, a, a, a cartoon. I will whoop your ass in Madden, man. I, those are facts. Hit me up, man. Rome go large. Find me on Twitter. At uh, Rome Go Large, or you could probably search me, Rome Rush. Find me on there, man. Let's get it, man. Let's get these games going, man. Let's play. That's all I'm. That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here for. This is a hobby. What I do, I like talking about video games. That's why I'm here. I talk about video games. I talk about how I feel about the gaming industry. I talk about a little bit of sports on this channel, a little bit, but more so my Cleveland Browns, and 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 that's that. Holler at me. Rome, I'm out.